So you can use your super telephoto lens for more than wildlife and sports. And I'm gonna show you how today. So today um, I decided to bring my Nikon Z6 II out with the new 180 to 600 lens uh, that I purchased for it to do some, um, well, not wildlife and not sports photography, but barn photography. And the reason why I want to use this lens for that kind of photography is so I can t capture photographs of a subject matter that I love a lot, and that's barns, from the roadside so I don't have to trespass on people's property to get the photograph. Now, I have from time to time stopped and asked to take photographs of people's barns and they've let me do it but um, when I'm just driving around and I have to see something I want to be able to just pull off the side of the road and get the camera out and take a quick photograph from the car that's what I want to do today I'm using my iPhone 13 Pro today with the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphones hooked up in case you want to know I'm not using my DJI Pocket 3 anyways let's go find some barns so I went to an area of Cumberland County called Grassy Cove and just kind of drove around the back roads a little bit. And I was able to capture several barn photographs and a couple other building photographs. And some of them are kind of unique. And what I'm gonna do is show those to you in the video. And then I'm gonna give commentary uh, while I'm showing those to you to tell you what my thoughts were behind taking those photographs and what settings I used on that 180 to 600 Z mount lens on the Nikon Z6 II. I know this video is about the 180 to 600 Z lens, but I wanted to show you these wide angle shots of this beautiful, newly painted roof Rock City barn that's located along the highway in Grassy Cove community. The only thing I would like to do, I probably have to talk to the owner about this, is cutting some of this brush away to get a cleaner shot without distraction. And here is the first shot uh, with the 180-600Z to on the Nikon Z6 II. This was at 180 millimeter focal length wide open at f5.6. And in the next shot here, we're at 290 millimeters uh, at f5.6 with the ISO at 1600. I have processed this image using the Nick collection in Photoshop. This lens really impresses me with its sharpness. And this is the community center in Grassy Cove. And I just took a 180 millimeter shot of this from the road. And in the next photograph, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on the photograph, crop in so you can see how sharp this lens is. If you look at this sign right here, you'll notice that it's very, very sharp. I think Nikon's hit a home run with this lens. I'm really gonna enjoy using it with my Z cameras. The weight of this lens is pretty comparable to the Nikon 200-500 uh, F-mount lens, and uh, it's probably definitely heavier than the uh, 500 PF, but it's still a joy to use. Here's a shot I took through the trees of this barn at 600 millimeters at F6.3, and in the next shot I took was a different angle of it at 180 millimeters. This also has been processed uh, in Photoshop using the Nick collection. The performance of this lens really impresses me. It focuses very quickly. It works very well on the uh, Nikon Z6 II. And this old bar right here uh, was falling down, and I took a sh shot of it here at 180 millimeters. And in this next image, I zoomed into 300 millimeters, and it was at f6.0, and the ISO was 2500. One thing about the Z6 II, it handles uh, high ISOs. I've had very good luck with it all the way up to 6400 ISO and using Topaz Denoise. And this last picture here I took at 180 millimeters, but the sun had come out from behind the clouds, so I just waited a few minutes and I was able to capture this next shot after the sun had gone behind the clouds. And I was much happier with this one at 180 millimeters uh, wide open at f5.6 at ISO 1000. 
And in just a few seconds, I'm going to give you my thoughts about this lens and compare it to some of the other Nikon lenses. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video uh, of doing barn photography uh, with the 180 to 600. Um, I wanted to talk to you just for, for a second or two about this, this lens in a comparison between the 200 to 500, which I know many, many people own the 200 to 500 because it's also an affordable option. Um, the 200 to 500 weighs just a bit more than this at 5, point, 5 pounds, 1.2 ounces, and the 180 to 600 weighs 4 pounds, 11 and a half ounces. Um, the 200 to 500 is a external zoom, so when you turn the zoom ring, the lens extends and comes back, which makes it a, a tad bit longer than the 180 to 600. The 180 to 600 has a nice internal zoom. The throw is very nice, it's smooth. Also too, now the 200 to 500 has a fixed f5.6 uh, aperture. So you can shoot that at anywhere between 200 and 500 millimeters at 5.6 all day long. This one here uh, changes. Uh, it's a 5.6 to 6.3. And as you zoom out, it gets a little bit more now. So the difference between the, the 180 to 600 variable aperture uh, in the fixed aperture, uh, the 180 to 600 has a 5.6 to 6.3 aperture. It's variable. Uh, the 180 to 600 is a Z mount lens only. It only work on this, the Z mirrorless cameras. The 200 to 500 is an F mount. It'll work on uh, D500s, D850s, those kind of older cameras. It will also work on the Z mount cameras uh, via the FTZ adapter. And I have found that the 200 to 500 focuses fairly quickly, but I believe the 180 to 600 native Z mount lens is a lot quicker in the focus department. Um, one of the things that I would recommend, and this is one thing that's a really a pet peeve for me, I do not know why these manufacturers don't start including a lens foot with Arca Swiss built into it. I don't understand that part at all. So Kirk sells a replacement um, um ring that goes on this lens the cost of that thing is 265 dollars that's a lot of money uh, i may buy that i may not right now i have this adapter plate mounted to it and so far it's done fairly well uh, i've only used it once or twice on a tripod anyways this lens works very well with the nikon z62 and i'm sure it'll work with the z72s the z8s the z9s just as well this, in my opinion, is a really nice lens at $1,699, and if you are considering upgrading from a 200 to 500, uh, I would suggest that you look at this lens for your mirrorless cameras. So that's all the photographs I took for today, and uh, got them processed and showed them to you. And I think what I'm going to do is, is return back here in the spring when the foliage is coming out, and I'm actually going to stop and talk to some of these people and see if they'll let me on their property to do some proper photographs of these barns. Um, I just love to do barn photography. It's one of my favorite things to do. And I love these old structures like that. Anyways, uh, if you got some enjoyment out of this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, please. It doesn't cost you anything to do it. And if you want to keep up with some of my other videos I'm going to be doing in the future, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that. My name is Ron Durant. I live in East Tennessee. And I'm a photographer. Y'all have a nice day now. Bye.